Man behind the scenes, today. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> today is the day. Today is the day. We're gonna put this thing on the machine and yes. hope and hope everything works. Yes. That's the plan. Oh boy, it's gonna be awesome. I had a guy comment last night. Oh yeah. He wanted to know what you had more of, new gloves or new hats. <laughs> it's about a tie. <laughs> I, I got a new one again today. I see this. SBS Excavating. You know, this isn't, I guess technically he's a viewer, but this is also our competition. Competition and friend. And, friend. and you know something else about this guy? So Sam and Steve with SBS, they but watch quite S a bit. S and S is not Sam and Steve's. No, no it isn't. It is, is it Sam's Sam and Steve's? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, which I, I don't know. Yeah, they they may have to rename it. You know, now that Sam yeah. Sam and Steve, but Sam owns business. It's, we renamed it's, Mr. Excavation, so we can rename him too. Exactly. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, another good fun fact about him is, is he's got three, four go karts too. But yeah, actually, he's that actually that go kart was his go kart. That one there. Yeah. The one's got the new body on it now yeah. that you could keep the body on. Yeah. <laughs> oh, here we go. <laughs> but he's too he's too scared to come out and run against us. I know. He's also too scared just to come out and visit. I know, he won't even come out and visit. But, so, uh, Sam is a friend. Yeah. Steve is technically, by default, my family. Yeah, yeah. So, Steve worked for my, I called him Uncle Earl. He was actually Dad's cousin. But yeah. Dad, uh, Earl had a large excavating business for a lot of years, and yes. Steve... Uh, Steve was actually his... Stepdad? Step, yeah, our, Adopted Earl. dad? Yeah, Earl would have been... See, we're gonna screw this all yeah. up. They're gonna be yeah. typing yeah. in the yeah. comments, but... Long story short, I consider Steve family. I haven't seen Steve in a long time. Steve needs to come visit, but yeah. we're uh, we're supporting we're supporting Sam's tobacco service and, today. And Sam needs to oh. grow up, become a man, and race against his <laughs> cars. I'll let you take that up with him. Uh, oh, all right. right. We can we get, back, can we get back to Mad Max destroying Saul here? So, okay. Well, first off, what do you think of my brake assembly I got all rigged up? I love it. I, love I think it. that's gonna work awesome, don't you? I think it will. This side don't look too bad. I don't know what happened over here. I wasn't here for this, but wh why'd you grind all the weld off? What, what was the on purpose this side? of I grinding why all I did the, that? Yeah, must've looked pretty bad, huh? Well, do you see, does it look bad? Do you see porosity? What's your concerns there, bud? Well, I have no concerns. It's just usually uh, like a QC comes in, they don't like seeing it well grounded down. Well, good thing you're like not. That was a problem. <laughs> I think, you know what I think you're doing? <laughs> I don't want to get political here, but I think you're looking for a problem. <laughs> no, I wouldn't look for a problem. I'm just stating what I go through. Okay, they look Mr. Obvious, what does I, it work? It works. Okay. The it falls off. But <laughs> I guarantee that's not going to be the failure out of any of this. This is probably going to be the failure. China. <laughs> no. <laughs> not the weld. Not huh? the weld. It's definitely going to be China. All right, I did weld that off solid. This is all just tacked. I wanted to make sure you didn't see any problems with it. This is all tacked. Yeah. But here's what I'm thinking. With that being installed and that being installed, I don't think we have any major weight to add to this, do we? No, we should be done adding weight. I mean, other I mean, than the, the foot. We got the foot, we got some hoses, we got some trinkets, as Matt would say, but we don't have any major poundages. So what if we take our poor, poor sawhorse? We gotta get new sawhorses on these days. We're always too eager yeah, about the jack stands. We're all sawhorses. We're always too eager about the project. We forget about our poor sawhorses. Them things have been, I mean, they have been torched. They have been burnt. They have been cut. They have been smashed. That was about burning too yeah, over there. There you about burning too. Okay. Anyways, let's take a sawhorse, move it down. Let's try to find the center of gravity of this thing. Then we can put a lifting eye on it, one to use here in the shop, and uh, two we can use when we're loading on off the trailer or whatever. Yeah. I'm guessing the center of the gravity is gonna be somewhere in here. I bet it's gonna be right here. Probably, you're probably right. <laughs> uh, and then here's what I'm thinking. All right, so we find the center of gravity, we take the crane, we lift this thing up, we couple it to the machine. Once we get it coupled to the machine, we can start getting hose lengths. Yeah. Once we get hose lengths, I think I can run to town and get hoses while you're welding that out. We come back, do a reassembly, and 
We're ready to go. We're ready to go. All right. We're getting too excited. We're getting too far ahead of ourselves. Um, what, what was the first step? I forgot. <laughs> oh, moose all horse. moving your burnt saws. <laughs> hey, man. You can make fun of them saw horses all you want. They have not let us down yet. I thought this build was going to be lighter than the uh, towel plow. I'm not for sure. If it is. <laughs> I'm not for sure if it is any lighter than the towel plow. You want me to keep going up? I said we bring it back to right about there. You ready? Didn't All right, break. break. We gonna place our bets. I'm gonna go with uh, I'm gonna go with right here because that's probably the worst spot possible you could have it. So. I'm gonna go with right here and hope we get lucky. You're gonna go with right there. Okay, we'll go where you go first. Right. Where you went first. It's probably, hopefully, it's somewhere in between us. Just for the record, I said right here. You're over here. Oh, you're moving it now. No. <laughs> How close is it? Oh. Far off. Huh? Yeah. Yeah, buddy. You sit right there, man. It's gonna be more like back here at best. Be a little slack. because we have another secret idea we can't talk about yet. Yeah. We just weld it to here. And That's what I'm thinking. That's what I'm wondering. Just weld it to here and call it good? I think so. Because that's still going to move it over six inches or so. Yeah. All right. So we're going to use this D-ring as our lift and I, so what are you thinking? Thinking like that? Like that, I just... Too far. Be too big of a gap. I mean, well, I mean, it'll work, right? It'll work, Here. yeah. Just as long as we can... I say right like that. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So I'm gonna tack it off there. Like I said, worst spot possible. I was right. It needs to be right it's there. It's probably gonna be. It's probably about right in so here. The actual, I'm right. huh? No, I'm no, saying these today. <laughs> You're not tricking me like I trick you. <laughs> not having it, buddy. All right, All right. let's tag her. Eyeball. Yep. Hopefully, that'll work perfectly. Go the trees, you ready? Was right it was right in between us yeah <laughs> you know what here's the thing here's the thing you're not allowed for once i get done the jack goes on and i get done welding this oh you think the weld's gonna be the difference maybe? <laughs> <laughs> yeah see i and then that little bit of weld i put or the weld i got put on it's gonna make it perfect all right so here's the real trick if we take this off, 
Yeah, that's wow. easy. You took your brake off, dude. I know. Yeah, that's why'd you do that? Well, that's what I was wanting to see if it worked. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so now, you ready? Yeah. The turn. Look at that. Oh. Oh, okay, well. <laughs> well it's, uh, it's time to hook this thing up to a machine. All right. Oh, oh that was your spin, so you can go ahead and hook it up. I yeah. Yeah. I think you accidentally hit that. Well, it may have been a little more aggressive than I was anticipating, <laughs> but you get the point. I get it, yeah. Oh, my goodness. Okay, we got to put the jack on because we got to set this thing on the floor yeah. and hook it up. So, so this needs to go down here. We don't want to damage our saw blade. Yep. Up, oh, got heavy here. But it, like I said, I put that weld in. You know, the other thing is the center of gravity being right there. That should have helped the way it operates too. Yeah. Okay, all right, let's set this on the floor. We'll see what happens. Hopefully this thing sits on the ground good. Tighten our brake up a little bit, don't we? Yeah. All right, ready to see if she sits down? Yep. Is our blade off the ground down there? Yep. yep. Oh, my goodness. Tell me that's not a thing of beauty. Yes, yes it is. I like it. All right, moment of truth. How'd it feel in the cab? Perfect. I know, I know, we're not reached out, I but, know, but the, what, uh, the first thing I noticed I was concerned about is I got excellent visibility to the blade. Do you? I was yeah. A bit worried about that, but it's uh, it's flawless. So here, here's the next thing we need to figure out. So we've been spinning this part, but actually this part's supposed to spin. So basically, you flip that. Look at that. That's what you do, huh? Not hard to spin at all, is oh my it? Goodness. I mean, I can go this way, I can go this way, I can go that way, go that way. Any way you want. I just can't believe how well it does turn. 
It's like that, a, they should use that as like an axle or something on a truck. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Dude. I mean, that sucks. You took a perfectly fine axle and just demolished it, but. Demolished it? We made it useful. <laughs> All right, good deal. Hey, your tax held up. I'm proud of you. <laughs> I'm, more, I'm more impressed these tax hotels. <laughs> China. Oh. All right, we yeah. got some plumbing. Yep, that's what you got to do. Let me show you guys what we're thinking, see if you guys can make sense of my drawing. So basically what we want to do is put what they call a flow control valve in this system. What this will allow us to do is kind of protect that motor and only allow the proper amount of flow and pressure because it's got a relief valve built into it to get to that. So with this thing being built to go on multiple different machines between the 120, the 240, and the 210, we can do the adjustability on the implement or the attachment versus in the machines. Now, this machine has adjustable flow hydraulics on the auxiliaries, but is it a mechanical adjustment? You gotta put gauges on it, it's a big deal. You can't do it in the monitor. The 240 is the same way. The 210, I can't adjust it in the monitor, but this valve here is like 84 bucks. It's cheap, easy, and it's quick. And no matter what kind of input we put into this, it's always gonna give us the same output. So we can just pretty much hook it to anything yeah. and, and go. And the way this is going to be set up is if this valve gets excess oil, it basically just relieves it straight back to the tank. So it'll bypass through this valve instead of getting to the motor. I think this is going to be the way, going to, way we're going to go. The downfall of this valve is we can only turn the blade one direction. We won't have two-way hydraulics. We only have one-way hydraulics. But I think this is worth the investment to protect that motor and keep protect ourselves. Yeah. All right. So we're gonna mount this right here in this area, which is basically halfway between the machine and the motor. And we're determining whether we wanna build anything to protect it or not. I think we just need to get it plumbed up and see what it looks yeah. like. So here's what this looks like, guys. Here's our motor. We're gonna come 90 out of it, back 93 inches. This is the return side, so it'll get a T. Uh, and then from that T, we'll go on up to the return side on the machine up there, which is another 10 foot. We did measure what it would be in the down position. This gives us about six inches of play uh, in every scenario. Actually, the only, only time it's gonna be tight is whenever it's all the way down. I don't know how often we're gonna be all the way yeah. down. Uh, on the other side, we'll go back the other way. This is pressure coming from the 120. We'll go into the inlet of the valve. We'll 90 out of the valve, come down to the motor, 90 down there. I mean, honestly, it's a pretty damn simple, simple system. Uh, we got all of our measurements. The, so if this thing goes on the 210, I'm pretty sure it's going to require a shorter hose length because on the 210, even though the stick's bigger, the auxiliary hydraulic connection is down lower. Uh, if you guys remember that block assembly is like right into here. So we have the extra, extra size of the stick, but our auxiliary hydraulics are down lower. So I think this is going to be the longest hose length we're going to need. Um, uh, and if we ever figure out a way to put this on the 240, that's, we're definitely gonna have plenty of hose length for that. Yeah. So I think long story short, I got what I need as far as hoses. I just need to go have them made. Yeah. Yep. Uh, you've got the other half of the uh, coupler to weld up. Yep. Two tank coupler. So we're gonna divide and conquer. I'm gonna run to town, mm -hmm. get hoses, all the random stuff we need. He's gonna weld that out. We're all gonna meet back here, including you guys. And uh, we're gonna plumb this thing up. Yes, sir. And we're gonna hit a little button in that cab and that little blade's gonna go. Yep. <laughs> and it's snowing outside, but we may still track out there and cut a tree down just for the hell of yeah. it. Yeah. All right, let's do it. After quite the adventure. Yeah. Three hydraulic stops later, 150 miles. Yeah. Lunch. I'm back. And you got hoses. So I got hoses. Hopefully, <laughs> hopefully we got everything we need. So how'd your weld now go? So I got uh, got your two tank coupler done. Got it welded out. That went really good. 
Somebody forgot to clean the paint off of this bracket here you know, and this yeah, bracket here. I was waiting to turn the camera on because uh, I got video evidence of me grinding the top and the edge on the last video and saying Aaron's going to complain that I didn't do the rest of it. Yeah, and you didn't, and it was a mess. But I got it done. It's China paint. It's China paint, yeah. That's lead paint then. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well, with all that being said, we need to get this thing plumbed up. So the first thing we need to do is get these fittings in this valve. Mm -hmm. Now, the last time I did a whole bunch of hydraulic work, taking my camera from me. Yeah. Everybody tried to crucify me because I put Teflon tape on hydraulic fittings. Let me tell you people something. This is MP, what do they call it? MPT, National Pipe Thread. Yeah. You know what the difference between that thread and that thread is? I don't know if it shows up on camera. This thread is tapered. So the farther down you go, the fatter it gets. So the farther you thread it in there, the tighter it gets. The threads are the seal. You follow me? Mm -hmm. Yeah. This is a JIC. Threads don't seal nothing. They just hold this flange fitting tight. Yeah, hold it tight, yeah. So you do not Teflon tape these, but you have to do something to these. Yeah, I Teflon tape everything. That's so, wrong, huh? So I've talked to four or five different hydraulic places, and all of them say, oh my God, you have to Teflon tape those. You just can't cover up the end, so it don't yeah. get in your system. If you tape just the threads, it's fine. Yeah. But since everybody whining and cries on the internet, I got the liquid stuff. Oh. You know, yeah. the, you know what the beautiful part about this is? You can't put it on backwards. No matter, <laughs> you can't. No matter which, no matter way, matter you which brush, way you go. <laughs> no matter which way you brush. It ain't coming back off. That's right. <laughs> but it's the same thing. You still cannot get it in the end of the pipe. Just got to get it on the threads. Does that make sense? So everybody go ahead. And just go ahead and get it all over the rest of the tee. Well, just can, you, mean, hear it? can, you, can you hear him screaming on the internet about how big idiots we are? Yeah. Yeah, because you're getting it all over the tee. Now it's going to be all over hands. And it's going to be all over clothes. <laughs> okay, now what side Your people did going? not like that. You're not focusing. What side the tee going? I'm not focusing. Side? I'm not telling you. It goes on this side. T goes over here. That stuff's almost as bad as uh, anti seeds. Look. Mm-hmm. JIC. Okay. Pipe thread. Yep. Tape. No tape. no tape. Yeah. That'd be the same thing if this was boss o ring or flat face, whatever you want to call it. You want to do this? No, go ahead. You want to taste it? Go ahead. This stuff smells good. It tastes good too. Yeah, come on, you're taking look, too much look, time. You're look, already look, at three look, minutes look, doing I'm, this. Look, I'm walking and talking. And yeah. <laughs> I'd and love you to trip all of a sudden. Yeah, I see what you're trying you to just, do. Uh, just taste it. No. <laughs> You know, just put it in the hole. Yeah, that's what she said. All right. Did I do a better job on that one? Still gotta make a mess. All right, let's tighten these up and we'll get them back. All, all right. right, well, miraculously, we got that all tightened down. Nobody's wearing Teflon tape. Yeah, you were. <laughs> yeah. You were because you didn't listen to it. We me. still got a few more fittings that are pipe thread. Yeah. All right, I think we need to start at this end and work our way that way because the distance between here and those valves is more crucial than the distance from there on up. So do we want to rotate this thing yeah. over? Or is that saw blade going to clear? We can't be damaging our saw blade before we ever try it. Clear? No. Oh. I would have. It's going to go flat. All right. Rotate. Look, you got a handle on there now. Huh? Got all kinds of handles. Thing of beauty. So basically what we need to do now is take these hoses off, put the yep. permanent hoses on, run these down the thingy ma bob. Mm -hmm. Hook them to the thingy ma jig and hope the thingy ma legs. Uh, yeah. <laughs> all right, all right, let's yeah. do it. Can you do this without spilling? I, I hope, I hope so. We I know we're gonna have show. some. Well, if you don't spin that blade, it should help our cause. Yeah. Should we have done this while it was on its side still? No. Well, I mean, if it was on its side yet, you would lose a lot of fluid. I know, but it would have ran past our, we could have caught it. Oh. Go be ahead, fine. say it. It'd be fine. 
it'll be fine. You got, you've got enough practice. The words almost come out of your mouth naturally now. No, they don't. You do. You've been getting good at saying it. Go ahead and say it. See, so you're, oh. oh. you're over here talking and I'm over here saving your butt. How, how are you saving my butt? Because you were going to let that drip down into there. No, I wasn't. There wasn't nothing to drip out. Guess I've got it over here. I got it right here, see? Yeah. You got it over there, but there was up oh, nothing. Nothing. That's because it's right? all. Who was right? Huh? Yeah, I was it's all right. Here. Where's, the, where's the hoses at? I went and got the hoses. You can at least put them on. You remember which two they are? No. They are uh, 120 inches. No. No. These are 90. Uh, these are 93 inches. Yeah. 93 so, inches. That's what I said. That one, the bottom one, I can see is one of them. Not that one. This one. Not and that this one. one then. No. This, this one. This one and this one. Yep. Now, yeah, they should be identical. Yeah. Yep. All right. All right. So that. Uh oh. Uh oh. Okay. One, well, you're dropping down. That's where I was. Uh oh. Yeah. Where that? You're having difficulties over. My hose is stiff. <laughs> hard to hold it. There we go. All right, so I'm gonna hold these like that. They're gonna tighten those down. We're gonna try to get them to stay right there. Ready? Yep. I'll go. All right, it's good. Now this one's gonna want to come to me. No, so you, you kidding me? Sure what if our cover don't fit on there now? It's good. Don't say that. All right, man behind the scenes. So the other end should go about to that line. It's like it's gonna be close. So this side here needs to go to the T because it goes to the return. So that goes on there. This is hard to do, hold on. That one goes on here. Like so, and then this one should go, we'll go to this should be your motor load. So this goes over here. Like so, perfect. So now, do we want to mount these hoses? I got brackets to mount these hoses coming down the uh, boom. Do we yeah. want to mount those first, yes. and then we'll mount the then thing? We'll mount this. Okay. That'll tell us exactly where we need to be. Well, behind the scenes, I got all these fancy little brackets here. Hopefully, yeah. keep our hoses well protected. I had to modify them slightly because I may have bought the wrong size. I didn't buy the wrong size bracket. We ended up using a different size hose than I was anticipating. Mm -hmm. You've got these laid out. So basically. Like that. Yeah, that's the back side. You need to tack that right there. Yep. Wait on you. Uh, usually I'm waiting on you. You're usually on that camera for about 10, 15 minutes before you're ready for me. So I was waiting on you. You went quick this time. All right, ready? No, don't tack it there. Ready? Yes, now we're ready. Eyeballs. Keep an eye on you. Okay. okay, so we got one here. Dad, get your <laughs> wire off me. All right. Five might be a little bit of overkill. Yeah. So if these hoses are gonna get hit, this is probably where it's gonna happen. You know what I mean? Yeah. Oh, hold on. Yeah, why are you moving it? Right there. Oops. Okay. One more. OK. 
Okay. I hope our cover still fits on there. Yeah. Now. Pull the yeah. bamboo. Go ahead and get them. Up. Well, if we weld them now, do you think they'll be too hot to put the hoses in them? Huh? They'll be too hot to put the hoses in. Them? I don't think so. It ain't gonna be much. Okay. Well, after I weld one, take the glove off, stick your finger on it, and see how it is. No, ends. sir. All right, we'll let Aaron get those welded out. And we'll get those hoses down in there. And that'll tell us exactly where we need to put this valve at. Aaron, uh, while he was waiting on me to get back, made us a nice little mounting bracket for the valve, which is going to go right in here somewhere, like so. Let's go with you guys. All right, you want to start with this hand work our way that way? Yep. You ready? Oh. I'm ready. You ready? <sighs> Let's hope our cover still fits. Oh, that was great. I'm sure you're ready. behind the scenes. That is an absolute thing of beauty. Yeah. I like it a lot. I bet, I bet them are even more evenly spaced than any assembly line out there. I'll tell you what. There's some nice craftsmanship yeah, in this thing. Yeah, there is. This thing is freaking awesome. Yeah. All right. We gotta get this mounted because I don't think it flopping around out there in the breeze is gonna do us any good. No. So what'd you do with your fancy plate you built? Right here. So you wanna mount the plate to the valve and then we'll tack it off. Mm -hmm. Then you can remove the valve and hold it up while I weld that out. There's really, we don't even need it technically. I think you got it turned wrong, genius. Oh, yeah. That's like I was over here. I need that's that. still not right. No, that's not right. I'm getting it. Nope. You want me to help you out? Flip it over, duh. <laughs> Can you hear him yelling at you? There you uh, go, yeah. winner, winner, just ow! Oh, what you get, go ahead, keep laughing at me. <laughs> Missed the hole. Well, I can't see the hole. It's too small. Okay, so there's that one. There's that one. We don't need to put the nuts on them, I just need to get the holes lined up, right? Yeah. Now. Uh, it's not quite squared up, does it matter? It's going right like that right there. Wherever you like it. Well, if I go right there. Or do you... I mean, there's nothing that says we can't drill a hole in this and scoot it over this way. Well, I, I guess my question is, or do we want to square it with this? Or do we want to square it with this? I don't know. Because right there, it lays naturally and it's beautiful. Well, then that's what we want. We're just going to let it go like that? I say let it go like that. All right. Try it. I'm going to get tacked right here. You like it? Yeah. Still like it? Yep. Yeah. Okay. So then this out of the way. Weld it. Hopefully your holes still fit. Oh yeah. There's yours. Caution that could be hot. Yeah. That's a Two little bit of holes in a big old valve, man. I know it. You must have been trying to miss some porch or something. That's hot. That's hot. I tried yeah. To, I'm trying to tell you, man. Oops, I got my side done. What are you doing over? Waiting on my ranch, I'll let you use.
Voila! This is a little bit trickier with this uh, plate here, bud. I think we're down to two hoses. Let's see if this thing yeah. works. So we need to get those made up. All right. So we got the main pressure line will come in here. And our return line will go back here. We probably will tighten those up before we forget. So let me show you what we got to do. All right, I'm 90% certain I got the 210 plumbed up the same way, but this is the pressure line off the machine it's on this side of the boom and i can tell you that because if you guys look over here there is a solenoid valve right there it's very visible so whenever we go to one-way control it takes that oil out of that line right there and dumps it straight back in the tank and it completely bypasses all the valve bodies so that way you got free flow back to the tank which basically means this side here is the return so why is that important because these couplers are different so the pressure side Pressure side needs to have the male fitting. You remember that? Male fitting. Pressure side needs to have the male fitting, which is going to be uh, that hose right there with the two bushings on it. Yep, that one right there. So we need to put that fitting right there on that hose. No, yes, that fitting on that hose. And then that goes into the end, right here. All right. Whammo. Did you follow all that? Yeah, yeah, the other end goes in there. Yes, well, you can't put both ends in the same hole. Well, you're saying- If you pull off that trick, I'll be impressed. The way you explained it, I took it backwards. It's because you weren't listening. You just stick with me and we'll go places. Safety tip, boys cut away from you <laughs> all pipe thread fitting so guess what against the internet's better judgment man you really put her on there thing. well have you seen the brush i'm working with here put her on thick wipe her down slick are we welding or painting or what are we doing here no I, that's why i said wipe it down slick you grind it down slick if you're a welder like you, which you've done, shown that video. Hey, thank you for a kid. I did a lot of welding before you ever showed up around here. <laughs> the last time I checked, I don't know if we've repaired anything I welded yet. Oh, I'm for sure we have. That or you, knowing you, you probably sold it before you had to repair it. <laughs> I hate pipe thread. So pre-emissions, <laughs> everything you done. Pre-emissions? Yeah, I guess you call it pre-emissions. Then whenever I come around, that's when it's like everything had the emissions control on it. All right. So now, this one's gonna be a little bit more difficult because they don't have a swivel. This is making a mess. Mm-hmm. It kind of looks like icing though. Well, you, it, it smells better than anti-seize. Yeah. You know, if it smells better, you know what that means? Tastes better. Sure tastes better. No, you taste it. Go ahead. All right. You've got that stuff everywhere. Which way are you going? Oh, yeah. I'm going to get that end up before I hit the jewels. Oh, that's a swivel. Huh, that's convenient. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> I didn't know I was for the good ones. I'm over there hitting myself with that end for no reason. <laughs> what did you do the 7-8 wrench, though? I put it back in the drawer. You sure about that? It's in the drawer right along the side where I found it out of where it's supposed to be. I put it back where you put it. Huh, hey, 7-8, huh? Well, 15 16 in there too. <laughs> That's Look convenient. at that. So much easier. It is way easier. <sighs> I 
All right. I've seen the process. Let's go ahead and put the female end on the other end, which is this one here. Okay. And then we'll hook everything up on the machine. All right, you want to do pressure first? Pressure first. All right, so we need to put this bush single on. Here, you want to do it? No, you you got the gloves on, bud. No gloves. You want to hold that? I ain't holding that either. Why'd you get it all over the side well, of it? Well, because they overfilled it. They overfilled it. <laughs> this is not the best setup. This stuff works. We don't have to, we probably make sure it fits. You know how disheartening this is gonna be if that don't go down on there? Well, Sam's back very, on service. Very. Come on, baby. Here's some beats. We may just cut to a new clip. <laughs> oh! Oh, yeah. Dude, look at that. Thing of beauty there. That is flawless. It's like we drew that out on AutoCAD, precision measured. <laughs> Yeah. Well, you got your AutoCAD book, but you never even drew a thing out on this. This is true. <laughs> I drew out our next project, which is yeah. much simpler, but I didn't drill out this one. So, yes, that all fits up great. All go in. Is it time? It is time. It is time. Time to wait now. I'm ready to go now. And this cover here, it goes, I don't know if it's just from taking it on and off or everything cooled down, but everything comes and goes so easy. It's all come down to this, man, behind the scenes. Yep. It's all come down to this. So I think we need to rotate that back up, lock our brake, grab this with the crane, set it back on the floor, hook it up to the machine, hit the button, and hope that blade spins. We do have saw horses you could cut if you want. No, oh, man, we can't. These saw horses have been I know it's there. nasty. We don't want to get it outside right now, but. <laughs> you think we can like randomly cut a two by four or something? We'll find something. All right. Yeah, it's, it, the, the weather outside is frightful. We are, we are still hiding out in the shop for a reason. It's supposed to be nice this week and it's and, not happening. And so tomorrow is supposed to not be good at all. All right. All right. Here we go. Officially, two hoses away from giving this thing a go. Yes, we are. Oh. Oh. you are one hose away. <laughs> We are zero. <laughs> All right, so I think that's set on zero speed right now. Okay. So if I hit that button, nothing should happen, right? Or does it? Should happen. And then maybe we'll set it on like five and see what it does. Okay. You ready? Yep. I think I'm ready. We tight? Huh? We tight the blade up? I don't know. You put that on without me around. Huh? Who's the last one in your refrigerator? Huh? Who's the last one in my refrigerator? 
Not me. Why'd you leave the door open? I didn't leave the door. We should probably check that blade. Huh? We should probably check that blade. Yeah, I need to check the blade. You think Jeff and Jeremy just got a hole in the wall? <laughs> let's go for it. <laughs> All right, let's see. All right. We'll tighten the blade up. What do you think that is? Bigger an inch and a quarter. Mm-hmm. Hey, you do, you gotta do uh, a race track, okay? Yeah. Bigger an inch and three eighths. Oh. Stay there, I'll be right back. Yeah. Come on, they're waiting. Hey, we got a, oh, it was loose. It was loose. Oh, she's tight now. All right, so we need to go ahead and put this up. Yeah, go ahead and get it out of the way. Put it back where it belongs. We need to go full commit here, don't we? Yep. Did you tell them what we did with this? I don't think we showed them. Oh, we didn't show them how it works. So we figured the handle is the most likely part to get damaged. So we made so it. So where store. it goes up inside the drum. Look at that. And voila. There we are. Oh, yeah. That's pretty. All right. All right we need to get going. Back to what we originally do. All right. We're ready. Wide open? Yeah, <laughs> not wide open. <laughs> Yeah, it sounds real smooth. So not only, I see, not only is this a saw, it's a bench too now. <laughs> I'll tell you what, that machine we, right there, yeah. what, 13,000 yeah. hours, 27 years old. I'm pretty sure we can put this thing on it, set it here in the shop overnight and it will not bleed off. Yeah. I mean, it is just, I can't even do that with my new stuff. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so, we're having a discussion about which way the blade needs to spin. So right now, the bottom, the bottom is cutting, coming towards me. The yes. top is cutting, going away. Away, going that way, yes. Which, 
I think it's the opposite of the way a lot of the ones are, but I think it's the way we want it because I'd rather drag something to me underneath and push it away on top. Does that make sense? Yeah. But with all that being said, our blades are backwards. So we need to switch, swap need to the blade take, around. Uh, here's the other question. We probably ought to check rotation versus the way the blade spins. Is this is like a grinder or something where it should tighten itself up the more it goes. Which should put it. Yeah, so if that turns this way. Should tighten that down, you see what I'm saying? Yeah. So in theory, take this off. Yeah, yeah, that'd be right because turn, like turn this around. Turn this that way. around. And then we're spinning the right way for our threads. I don't know. You said you were going to cut the wall. Don't tempt me. <laughs> <laughs> I think we got an operational saw. Yeah, I think we do too. <laughs> we got to try it. We got to try it. <laughs> oh, so you gonna... break out our old faithful uh, saw well, horses, I mean, huh? These saw horses have been so good to us, they might as well give us a little more. We're gonna see if we can be precise enough to trim it off, straight cut. Okay. I'm kind of limited on my space and my movement in here. Yeah, yeah, you are. Let's just let's see how precise we can be <laughs> right off the bat. You ready? We're gonna start demo on the building, start taking the lights out too, or <laughs> we might. Here we go. All right, what do you want that set on now? Let's leave it, leave it on. on. All right. That's nice. Uh, and it cut real smooth. The only thing, it, a little bit of that. Uh, we didn't have all the wax. We didn't have, we didn't have no, it didn't even stuff. take off. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, come on. Now that's precise from the seat. Oh, yeah. How, as far as visibility, how was it? I mean, you seen. Look what I did. Yeah, well, I didn't know if you're taking a lucky guess or you're that no, good, huh? No, I'm, I'm, I'm that good. <laughs> you tricked me into saying it. No, I can see. <laughs> It's, but you it's can see good. Well. All right. Remarkably good. Yeah. It didn't even seem like it. I mean, we got plenty of power. Yeah. Dude. Oh, so Dude. close to getting out there cutting limbs. I know. I know. All right. I hate to do this to everybody. I think we're going to have to wrap this one up here. All right. So we got a few small little finishing touches to put on this thing. Yeah. And then we're going to get it painted. We still got to argue about paint. Yeah. And then we're going to take it outside. I know everybody would agree with me, but we're going to do it your way. I know. And we're going to take it outside. Yes. And we're going to trim a tree. Yeah. Then, if the weather's still nasty, we got an accessory for the accessory. Yes, we do. Maybe. Maybe. maybe, maybe. They're going to have to stay so, for that. Yeah, yeah, they will. But man, it works. Yes, it does. It's awesome. Absolutely and awesome. Tear my saw horses up. I mean, it's that was worth the sacrifice. Yeah, it was. Well, these things, that'll be a problem. All right. All right. We got to wrap this one up. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, big old thumbs up. If you want to see this thing finished and you haven't yet, consider subscribing because it's coming. Tell them bye. All right. See you guys. Okay.